Hey everybody, welcome to the happy hour with Heather B. I am Heather B, of course, and I'm doing it right in Vermont. Even though Vermont can be known for being freezy and cold, it is beautiful out there right now. I'm loving it and I wanna bring you the drink recipes that I've been creating while I was up here. Now, everybody claims to have a recipe for rum punch. I've tried pretty much all of them, especially when people tell me, yeah, I got the hot recipe for rum punch. I have a recipe for you that you can do at home. Your friends will love it and it'll take less than five minutes. Check it out. All right, you're gonna get you a glass and make sure it's a nice tall glass. Get you some ice, some fresh fruit. I'm using pineapple, I'm using strawberry. I'm putting it right there and I'm gonna add some ice right to it. I'm grabbing that Captain Morgan's rum. They have pineapple, they have coconut, they have grapefruit. I'm using the pineapple and coconut today and I'm gonna start building my rum punch. Pineapple first, okay. Then I'm going with the coconut rum. It is so good. And what I love about these coconut rums and the pineapple rums and the flavored ones by Captain Morgan, they stand alone. You could just have a shot of it and it works perfectly um, if you want to get your quick little buzz on. All right, so I got the pineapple, the coconut, and now I'm trying these 99 bananas. I love it. We were just having a discussion about 99 bananas last night. It's so good. Add a drop of it right in there to bring you some more of those island flavors. Uh, peach knops. You can buy pretty much in any brand, but I like this brand here since I mix it so much. I'm going to add that right in there as well. And cherry liqueur. Now, you have to be careful using cherry liqueur, and here's why. A lot of times, if you pour too much of it, it can sort of taste like cough syrup. So you want a little bit of cherry flavor and to add it to your drink sometimes for color, but don't use too much. So you'll just watch me add a little bit right there. And if you add of it, you could also use those red cherries that you find in the jar. Um, add some of that juice in there as well, but this one has alcohol to it. For my juice and for my mixer, I took peach nectar and pineapple nectar and I mixed it all together. I'm gonna put that right on top. And you can only imagine what this is gonna taste like. Got my trusty shaker and I'm dumping it right in there. All right. Get those shakers up high, y'all. I love to shake it, <laughs> get my shaker nice and cold, and get all those flavors going right inside of that mix. All right, good. My hands are starting to get cold and starting to get frosty, so I know those flavors are ready. And if you're never sure how much to shake, 20 seconds, 30 seconds is always good. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. How pretty is that? Now, if you love garnishes and fruit, keep adding on. I'll add another pineapple in there and these strawberries, which I got in Vermont. Put that right on the side. Tell me, that's not the prettiest drink you've ever seen. Let me grab a sip. This is everything. This is pineapple. This is strawberry. This is cherry. This is coconut. It's peach. It's banana. Do this at home, citizens, and hit me up at the Happy Hour with WHB on Instagram. Hashtag the Happy Hour with Heather B. And keep going to the website. I love it. I love hearing your comments at the Happy Hour with Heather B.com for more drink recipes.